When did you get that click and it was like, oh, wow, my life is changing? I always telling my friends that I'm going to be famous. I never go to perform at no event at school. Why was that? I'm not supposed to perform there. Jamaica, there's no shunning for you being confident. Great is he because... I'm very great. <laughs> can I be in the music video? Of course. Are you going to do cowboy stuff? Like some Western film. Yeah, and I could just be on the horse like. Yeah, yeah you'd love to be in the back of the <laughs> Oh, oh gosh. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that's coming out now feels proper divisive. But that song was like, let's bring it back for a second and remember family. We are family feud, but at the end of the day, no one loves you like your family. You cook a lot, don't you? Yeah, it's therapy. See, I don't like cooking. That's it, you're wrong. This is the Plus 4 4 podcast. I'm ZZ Mills. Yeah, what's that about? Yeah, what was that all Adam about? Side, man. Music, up. culture, UK. This is Plus 4 4 from Wondering. Wondering. Zizi. Hello again. S S hello. It's a special day today. You gotta, you gotta activate your inner you're in a yard today. I know, and you know that doesn't really happen much for me. Really? No, because you know I'm around a lot of like Nigerians, Ghanaians yeah. all the time. Yeah. I'm not really around my own. Well, yeah. I see you every week. Yeah, yeah, I know. Have respect for me. I know, um, <laughs> but, but today, we have to jam it up to the to the maximum. Okay. Because we are joined today on the Plus 4 4 podcast by none other than Popcorn! Hey! <laughs> This is again. <laughs> it is the Plus 4 4 podcast with me, Sideman. And me, ZZ Mills. And we are here with Popcorn, who has fell in love with ZZ's dog. So Dave is chilling with him instead. And Dave is. Come in, Adi Shat Boy. Let's see, look. look. Yeah. This dog is such a cloud chaser. I know, he loves He goes so. He's like an energy yes, person. Yes, there's the cloud. Go over there. <laughs> do you have dogs? Yeah. Back home? Yeah, pitbull. Yeah. But do you. But you Men don't like small, small dogs, I'm noticing. It's always big, bigger dogs. But we are, we, when man I do them look at that. But you know, <laughs> you know, dad, chihuahuas are like the dad. original, the original guard dogs in Mexico, apparently. Because yeah. you know they're very aggressive. Like they're like, ah, I mean, all the yeah, time. But no, these they're smart dogs, loud. very aggressive. I That's know that. See, yeah, they got see. bark, but yeah. no bite. Now, specifically, I want to talk to you as, as two full blown Jamaicans. Zizi, just take a, you know what I mean, take a seat. We was born there, you know what I mean, give us some time. But, I feel um, like I'm going to be excluded. <laughs> now. No, but I'm, obviously. I'm, where? I'm, where in Jamaica? Me, St. Elizabeth, so I'm a country, oh. country lad. Um, I wasn't born there, but my family are from Jamaica, yeah. Some oh, of okay. them ones, I have to explain it and that. But um, <laughs> I wanted to ask about specifically past life. You mentioned in that track about, you know, you used to have a diet of um, water and crackers. So I wanted to ask, when I was growing up in Jamaica, I grew up quite rough and I had, wanted to ask what other things you oh, might... Here we go. Yes, David, hey, every... Let us bond in our struggle. Popcorn, every single Jamaican artist that comes on yes. our show, yeah, David yes. tells a story about how he had to carry a bucket on his head Put your hand for down. three days. And no, he no. likes <laughs> to tell everyone this story so that everyone yeah, can good. relate good. to him. Let them know. You have well, to you know, some of my friends from here, like Jews and Suspect and my jewelry, like, they came to Jamaica and they, they saw where I'm from and they... They can't believe, believe it. Right. Exactly. So now yeah. you guys are gonna Yes, yeah, so I'm I wanted to ask about a couple of other things, see if you know about a couple of other things. I'm I'm assuming you're gonna, but let's start light. Bag juice. You ever had bag juice? Yeah, man. The whole of them thing, them, man. I you don't know what bag juice is. Bag juice is literally what it says on the tin. It juice is juice in a bag. In a bag. All yeah. right. Have you ever used a chimmy? Yeah. You know what a chimmy is? What's a chimmy? A chimmy is a portable. Disposal unit yeah, for yeah, your inner... Yeah, put it in the Yes. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. All yeah, right. When, you, when you live in the country and you're, you're growing up, yeah, that's what they use. And yeah, they use I, like I've done pit that. tile outside. In the, you use a chimney? Yeah, because when my aunts that live in the country, when I was younger, I used to go up there. So I, I know, I know a little oh, okay. bit. Okay. Oh, I'm, a bit, you know I'm a cultured... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever, yeah. Have, you ever have ton can meal? Yeah, man. Ton can that's... Even now, we still do that sometimes. Oh, yeah, that's corn meal, that's ten. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, um, what's that, what's the famous patty place in Jamaica that everyone goes to? My cousin told me this other day and she's like, if you haven't had a patty from there, so you a lot of it. them though. What's the, 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 all of them famous. The, 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 okay. Yeah, so a now. Jamaican patty is different because mm. the soil, it's coming from, everything's coming from rich background. That's why a British patty is. Shocking. No. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it cannot replicate the, the, the flavor. Um, so is Jamaican make those British patty? No. Oh. Even if it was Jamaicans that made them, they're using British ingredient. Yeah, so, it's so not you the can't. Same. It can't be the same. So talk to us about the new album. Yeah, great is he. It sounds very um, religious. Was that on purpose? Is it like you're you're closer to God now? What was the reason behind the title name? Well, I'm I'm always close with God. Right. 
there was never a time when I was this that. Mm. Mm. We always been close, you know what I'm saying? But I have this spiritual side from growing up in church with my grandma. You know, I used to sing in the choir, so I can do very spiritual music, mm. you know what I mean? And that song, Great Is, is very spiritual. Even when I was doing that, um, that sound check, sound check just yeah. now, I could feel the energy while singing it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So. Um, the title for the album is is from that track as well, you know, mm-hmm. because we was um, searching for the name for it and we had a couple of names and then one day Ricky was like, um, what do you think about calling the album Great Is He? Because this song is very powerful. And I'm like, yeah, well, that is it. Great Is He because I'm very great. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. it, it's funny when you say that because I feel well, like when it comes to England, mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like a lot of times, what and a big difference that I notice between here and Jamaica sometimes is that Jamaica, there's no shunning for you being confident about yourself. Right. Like it's it's in, in Jamaica, if you even look at the marketplace, mm-hmm. who, who you buy your melon from is not determined on even how good the melon is, but how good the person is at selling it, telling you that it's the best melon <laughs> in the universe. <laughs> you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I feel fun. like there's that confidence that allows you to create more freely. What's your album making process like? Like do you have to go somewhere? Well, I was, I, I did most of my album at my house. All ah, right. Yeah, I have a home studio. But I, I go all over Jamaica while doing it, you know? I, um, I go to different places and set up portable studio. And is, does, is the studio like a party? Or is it like just the, the key people and then? Me, like my it. studio is never a party. All right. When I'm recording, that's when I'm like locked in. I don't, I don't really laugh, you know. Nobody really? can open my studio door at that time. I will get really mad, especially if I'm singing and somebody just walking in the session. Mm. That cheap me out, you know. So, um, I think the most serious part of popcorn when popcorn are recording in the studio yeah. and it's just me and who is recording or if i'm doing a song with somebody yeah. you know i don't play with that part i I'm, i think it's interesting that you said the most serious part of you because i was actually talking to my cousin about you the other day and we were saying how much we enjoy you and we like watching your insta yeah. stories and your insta because it's like you're you're like a version of someone that everyone knew in like I don't know how to in like school. So yeah, that's what I that, always say. Yeah, there was like, like this people think they know me, you know, right. they feel like they know me. Because I, you, you come across yeah. quite you're very personable and yeah. you're very uh likable as well. But on the other hand, I feel like I've also seen like when you walk into a room that people are quite reserved of about approaching you. So it's like you got the two sides of like, yeah, balance, cool, but yeah. don't don't get too comfortable. Yeah, like, yeah. Is he <laughs> doing that? Though, or are people doing that because no, they know who I he is? No, I think it's like the aura. Like <laughs> everyone would come up to you because no one's, no one really. I don't have just, the aura. You don't have that aura, and that's fine. <laughs> Not everyone can exude that in life, and that's fine. Yeah, Joe me can see him. You know, yeah, th- thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But when it comes to making the album, how many songs? How many songs did you have? And then how many songs made the album? And what's the process to cutting them out? And yo, it's crazy because there's so much, you know, and there's so much good songs too. Mm. You know, and does it hurt sometimes that one of them is not on it? Yeah, it, it hurt that a lot of them is not on it, yeah, right? Now, you know? But um it was a very tough process. So what do you do? What do you do as an artist with those songs then that you really love, but they it doesn't fit the album, it doesn't fit how what you want, how it the, the flow of it. So what do you do with those songs then? Just they're gonna them. they're gonna come out at some point. Okay, cool. Yeah, because it's timeless music. And what's your favorite song off the album? Like, what's the go-to song? If anyone was going to listen to I have to more you? than one favorite. Give us um, your top three. Like, your yeah, top three. 11 Commandment, Past Life, and um, I would say Great Easy. Great Easy. Do you know what song I heard the other day? Which one? Which, obviously, is, I feel like I'm doing exclusive here. I heard the song with you and Sus. Oh, yeah. And it's hard. It was yeah. really good. When is it going to come out? It's a banger. Out? When's it going to come out? This year. Can I be in the music video? Of course. Wow. I feel like it's like a cowboy. Are you going to do like... <laughs> is it, are you going to do cowboy? Like some Western film. Yeah, and I could just be on the horse like... Yeah. 
Yeah, you'd love to be in the back. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I put myself I bet in. You would, love job it. <laughs> <laughs> you would love it. No, no I'm just saying. It was a, it's a really good time. And we have to make sure this dog is in the video. We have to make sure Dave is in it. Oh, he was trying to tell me that it's Santa and Cosa or something. Yes, yeah, Santa and Cosa. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was either going to be Dave or Trevor. And I think Blood, like, I said I'm not on the licking thing. The tra- the tra- Why you not? Can't, you, <laughs> let's see, you, you're going to end up the RSPCP people. I, I hit the chair. Not Dave, there, yo, they no, come after me. Don't worry about it. Well, you animal <laughs> cruelty serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that dog. That's know? what I'm saying. Look, Dave, it, don't worry about it. I have to. Dave. I have to. Um, I have to ask about the sound. Yes. You're on my side. Dave, sit. Sit. Baby's not listening. See why? <laughs> Yo, Dave, what all Claude for you today? Now I'm gonna be transparent. Uh, I'm a I'm a Drake stan. That's the level up from fan. Um, what is it like to collaborate with him to have that uh, relationship with OVO and everything like that? And what was it like when you met him the first time? I talk about this a million times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the first thing that. I respect about Drake when I met him was his level of humility, you know? Mm. Yeah. When we got the, the after party, like, the section, we, we, I think we went to this section and he came and take up the cups and the table and those things, you know? Really? Yeah, and brought us some drinks, so. Yeah. I was like, yo, this man is very humble, you know, he's one of us, so. I still have that level of respect for him, so, you know? Yeah. And it's always respect between me and Mutual. You know? mm. Yeah. It's a family thing. There you go. I've... Until he's no longer a family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? there, there you go. You yeah. know that, you know that that's one of the best things to do though. Like if you are like that guy or you're like I look so angry. <laughs> powerful. You, you can um if you do regular stuff. People be like, yo, he's so humble. Right, yeah. So you be like, if, you, if you're the powerful person in the room and you be like, let me help you move that chair. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. But you should do it. Anyway. You should yeah. do it for like praise. Yeah, you should do uh, it your heart. from your conscience and your heart. Yeah, that, that's there you what go. I do. Did you factor the fact that Canada was cold before you joined OVO? Yeah, you said, like, oh, I don't know, you know, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, man. But you know what, though? <laughs> I always want to go to Canada, so. Mm. Cold wouldn't stop you. I don't care if it's cold or not. The first place I ever um, see snow was in Prague. Prague? Yeah. Isn't Prague supposed to be hot? Mm, sometimes. No. It's, it's when like I went there, it was seasonal. very cold. I'm yeah. geographically challenged, in, so yeah, nobody in Europe. bully me. When did you realize that your life had changed and that you had made it and you were recognizable and your music was traveling across the world and people was dancing and enjoy it? When did you get that click and it was like, oh, wow, my life is changing? Uh, I think it was the first time I, I leave Jamaica. Right, okay. You know, and I, I never go far. I went on the islands, you mm-hmm. know, um, Antigua and Trinidad. And there was so much love. Mm. Right. You know, I was I was feeling like, whoa, is this even happening? Because I always telling my friends that I'm going to be famous, I'm going to be rich, you know, because I used to keep stage show in school. And the so, you from, so from young, you've been like a performer? Yeah, okay, I, nice, I nice. do it every day right, at right. school, you know. We keep stage show and the corridor. I never go to perform at no event at school. Mm. Right. Why was that? I don't know. I just was you shy back then. No, I wasn't shy, but I just feel like um, I'm not supposed to perform there because I'm I'll be singing on the corridor every day, you know. So it's, oh, it's just okay, the okay. same. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So I, I don't see it as nothing different. Mm. You know. So, but all my friends know that I could do it. You know. So mm. some of them know it's like yo. You know, long we tell us the money are bad in our music. Yeah, remember the friends that want a little, you know what I mean? Uh, do you remember? I was the one that believed in you from the beginning, you get yeah, me? Yeah, My yeah. account number is 5478. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we have them friends, them, man. <laughs> how do you, how, what's your version? How do you say no? I always no. ask people with money this. How do you say no when people ask you for money? No. Ah, that's a good way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, just say no. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. just let the space, you let... 
But I'm telling you because he has that presence, you don't have that presence. So when people just know that when they ask you for money, you're probably going to give it to them because mm-hmm. you're not. I'm going to tell them not now. Yeah, you don't give the Not now. Mm-hmm. But that leaves the door open for them to call Yeah, because later. sometime I'm, I will give them when I see them again. But sometimes uh, I'm not you, giving you no. Because I'm on tour. <laughs> so you know, wait, just one, just one question back on the Jamaica, um, the thing. Why was that? Was that the first time you had left the country? Mm-hmm. You hadn't left the country before leaving the country because of music. No, That's music, bad. music, vibes, got, yeah. vibes. Cartel brought me to his concert. That's amazing. Yeah, in in Trinidad. Yeah, it's like you, you see the world in it when yeah, you when man. you leave. Never saw snow. And Trinidad so that always. I have that love, same way, you know? Yeah, man. Trini, Trini show me enough love. What's the difference between Trinidad and Jamaica? Mm, Trinidad's smaller. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty yeah. simple. Like, that's yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah, it. There's nothing different, man. I have to ask about the song family. And the reason why I have to ask about the song family, I feel like there are songs that artists make sometimes that that song will be played at every wedding. Mm-hmm. That song will be played at every funeral. That song will be played at every family event. And I wonder sometimes, you know, like when um, Ed Sheeran did that one where he danced with the girl. Something Thinking like out loud. Thinking out know, yeah, loud. Every that now song and is yeah, yeah. Bad. But did he know? Did he know that would be played at every, that, that would be people's wedding song? So I have to ask, when you made family, did you know that for probably all eternity, every wedding, every, every wedding reception, every funeral, that song would probably be played? Did you know when you was recording? Yeah, I know. That's confident. That's you know, Jamaican every song. You know, you know why though? Because I have some songs that I know that will be bigger songs, you know? Mm. Because I can feel the energy from it inside the studio, you know? And me, I'm I'm very close with my family. You know? mm. I love my family. So it is so real. Because if you watch Popcorn, you see that I'm with my family all yeah. the time, you know? When I'm not away. So it's like... And family is, is something that Everyone love, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we have family feud, but at the end of the day, no one love you like your family. That's the thing. I feel like the, the, I feel like I can get what you're saying about recording that song because I feel like it's so contradictory to everything that's coming out now. Everything that's coming out now feels proper divisive. Mm-hmm. It's never a love song, it's a breakup song. It's never a let's be cool, it's never kumbaya, but that song was like, let's bring it back for a second and remember family. Yeah. Like, And it's just, I feel like that message was so positive, especially when we're in a time in Jamaica where there's a fight against some types of music. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that is, that is an amazing thing when it comes to that song. And I think, yeah, that's one of them songs that's going to be played forever. Yeah, 100%. Talk to you about the love life then. Mm-hmm. Mm, how, how's that? Because I feel like you, the ladies like you. Yeah, of course the ladies like <laughs> do you, how, how do you navigate that though? I'm, I'm just, you know me, I feel like this is why people never want to talk to me because they know I'm going to ask about the love life because I just find it so interesting. What's was, my love life though? Yeah. Who you are tell you us. seeing? Are you interested in anybody? Are you being loved? Is someone looking <laughs> after you? you? <laughs> is someone somebody making you breakfast? No. I feel like you make breakfast. Yeah. You're the cooker, aren't you? I am. You cook loads, don't you? cook a lot, don't you? Yeah, it's therapy. Right. See, I don't like cooking. That you do wrong. <laughs> that you do wrong. <laughs> that you do wrong. Is that why basically I can't find a partner? Really? I, I can't. No, nothing. I can't find one at the moment. So if I cook, which should is that a thing? Is that is that what's gonna is that should that be the thing? Well, I mean, I can't. I can't say. I don't know. Probably, probably a man like a girl that don't cook, so yeah, then can true. go out and. Yeah, have but dinner. not Jamaican men. No, not every he's a, Jamaican he's a top man. Chef, apparently. Not That's every Jamaican saying. woman can cook either. But I feel not like every Jamaican man can cook. This is a good picture. Look, Let Dave. me take a picture of you yeah. and Dave. Dave. Oh, <laughs> Jordan four or Jordan one. It is, <laughs> it is um we are in the month of February, which means that Valentine's Day is coming up. Now you didn't confirm or deny anything, but I'm going to give you a Valentine's Day card to give to somebody, just in case you have somebody to give it to. Uh, uh. Just, in, just in case. Here and look, 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 what, no, look, what, look what it says on it. Look what it says on it. For you, I would pop can. I would pop. <laughs> there you go, love. There you go. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Make some noise for popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> so. so. <laughs> <laughs> you, you plan to do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Um, so, did you see that whole thing about Logan Paul's brother? What's his name again? Jake Paul. Mm, about him. Um, him revealing Tommy and Molly's baby were bo- was born. Like, they didn't drop it first. He dropped it first. No way. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. even know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, he said, oh, maybe now that your baby is born, you'll be ready to fight me because you know they're scheduled to fight. But they're always prolong- prolonging that fight all the yeah, time, yeah. aren't they? So yeah, yeah, but now, now the fight is in Saudi. The fight was oh, okay, either going right. to, before it's going to be in America right. or it's going to be in the UK. Mm-hmm, and there's mm-hmm. been all kinds of issues, whether it's issues with money or issues with immigration. There will be none of those issues in Saudi. The money will be there. The immigration will let them right in and right, that right. fight's going to happen. Right, right, but right. Uh, yeah, but uh, Jake took it upon himself to reveal it. Now, I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but, but I, I'm just throwing something out there. Go on. Now, obviously, it's egregious for them to have it come out this way. Right. For somebody else to reveal that your baby's been born. Mm. But what better rollout, right? To, no, just, said just roll out just for me. the baby. What you know? better, not for the baby, for the fight. What better rollout for a fight that people might be a bit over because it's supposed to happen three other times than to add an element of it because now I want to fight you because you revealed the birth of my child. Just imagine Tom no, and Jake on the phone. Like, you're I, doing too much. Listen, and do you think Molly rollout, May would do that for her baby? Do you think Molly May would agree? Molly to May that? is the only reason why I'm kind of on the edge. But, but Molly May has me on both sides. There's a Molly May that would do it in my head and a Molly May that No, I can't see... I'm not Molly May's biggest fan, but I can't see Molly May agreeing to do that. But if we all have 24 hours and if you can have your baby rolled out, like if you can have a baby rolled out... And How quick do you think Pretty Little Things are about to release a baby line? Oh, yeah, straight away. Is it coming out soon? Straight away. And especially after they see what Nala's baby has done. Oh, yeah, but come on. It will definitely be the battle of the baby brands once um, that baby drops. Oh yeah, I'll be interested to see what brand deals that they, that what brand or what lines she's going to bring out. Yeah. I she's named the baby Bambi, yes, which I think is quite a cute name. Yeah, that's I, a nice I name. actually wasn't mad at the name. I actually thought, oh my god, that's such a cute name. I wouldn't mind naming my child Bambi. Yeah, Bambi's. I nice feel name. like it's it's in life you should name your child a name that you know is never is not going to get them bullied. Yeah. Bambi might might get them. Actually, no, because I don't think the Gen Zs even know who Bambi That's is or true. what Bambi is about. But you know, Bambi, so the Bambi just, live action film will come so out they probably though, just so. think they probably just think Bambi's like a cute name. Oh my God, yeah. that's so Bambi. Like, I don't know, but I, think, I like but, Bambi. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be yeah. mad. Yeah, I think you should name your kids anything that when they get older, they're not going to get bullied for. Like my name, when I was growing up, I hated my name. I hated my name being called Zalika. Zalika. I hated Zalika. it because you couldn't find it at Thorpe Park. Like you, when you go to Thorpe Park, there's, there's nothing on the cups or the key rings. So annoying. Your struggle story is very different. Anyway, so <laughs> that is what I, and then the other day, um, I had to send somebody my account details and I sent them my account details and I was just like, oh my God, your name's so peng. And they put like love struck eyes. And I was just like. I think it is. An, any name oh where God. it starts with a letter like, First of all, you have to understand why the name Zizi or Zalika is thirty. A lot of men have a lips list. I don't know if you know this. Like there are certain men that want to lips a girl with every name on the alphabet. Oh, so you don't so even know I'm, how much man out here. That's why been. all the men want to lips me yeah. all the time. I Tap thought in. that because men always want to lips me all the time. Even the guys that swear they don't like kissing, they mm-hmm. always want to stick their tongue down my throat all the time. Yeah, because it's my lips. They feel like. I've yeah, got good lips. You yeah. know what I mean. They think yeah. I'm really good at other things as well. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I it's it's interesting with the whole uh <laughs> baby thing. You know what? I think I think we're in in media. We are almost like I don't want to put it like this, but almost like America's baby, in the sense that we are, I slow I slowly see how our world is uh, scene is gonna become like theirs. Yeah. And with the with the birth of a baby like this, with, and with like how we see people go on over Nala and stuff like that, you're gonna start to see that whole celebrity kids. Oh yeah, you know I feel what like I mean? we're building our yeah, we're, we're building, building it to we're that, building it. And, and and we're doing things that they used to do now, like the relationships for for, for gain and stuff like that. So we see like, like relationships. You should anyway. I'm not even gonna get into that. Yeah. That's but, um, what else has been happening this? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, all go you've on. been talking about this week is yeah. Love Island. Yeah, 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 you yeah. love Love Island. Love yes. Island is like your baby. See, okay, here's my thing with Love Island. I see Love Island as 
a psychological deep dive into oh, the mind my of God. humans. So do I. Yeah. That is why I love watching that program. Anyone yeah. that said stuff like, oh, I don't know why you're watching Love Island. Love Island is the best thing to watch to see how we think as human beings. Mm-hmm. Women, if you want to know how men think, watch oh, it. Oh, yes. If you want, men, if you want to know how women think, watch it. Oh, like, no. It, it, no, yeah. It is. Let me tell you the difference between the girls and the boys. No, go on. The girls are far more aware that there are cameras there. No. They are, but their natural reaction, when you catch their natural yeah, reaction, it's true. They that can't is hide still it. their yeah, natural. Yeah, yeah. So like when Zara, Lana, yeah, Zara, when which Lana, I call Zara back for me. When Lana wanted to cry, when Lana cried, that was her real emotion. Yep. It was her, like when, yep. even Lana, I like Lana because there's an element of realness about her because she was like, there was a moment when um, Ron wanted to get to know another girl mm-hmm. and she was just like, I don't care. Do you think I care? I'm not bothered. She's like, mm, I am bothered. She's I like, am I am bothered, bothered yeah, yeah. but I'm not. But, and it was yeah. like, it is because that's exactly what we tell ourselves yeah, as women. Yeah, yeah. We're not bothered. We're not, we don't care. Yeah. But I, that's why I love Love Island. Yeah. And every time I watch it, I watch it and I think this is where we go wrong as women or this is where we go wrong as men. Yeah. Like when I see the women reacting sometimes, like the other day, Lana had such a good play. She went, she told Ron when he went off with that new blonde thing, mm-hmm. what's her name? Ellie. Ellie. Mm-hmm. And then he went into the, came out and was mm-hmm. like, oh, basically, I don't really want to do anything with her. Mm-hmm. And then he came and sat down and was just like, I want to tell you that I basically like you. I don't want mm-hmm. to do it. And she gave him a really good speech. Like, mm-hmm. this is not what happens. You can't do that. Da, 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 da. I need to do better. And I was like, oh yeah, Ellie, that is a good one. Mm-hmm. But then she let him kiss her. I call, I yeah, that was crazy. I call her Lana Laxpine. Oh, and the reason no. why I call her that is because she doesn't double down. If you're going to tell a man you can't be doing that, you can't be messing about, you can't lip sim right after, after the tell off. You can't. You make it, listen, man, she is there for him whenever he is ready. Oh, no. And I think the thing about Love Island is, is that Love Island is very different from real life. And it's why, if, if Love Island was real life, a lot of men's games could never work. We right. need to, you need to go back to your yard. And I need to go back to my yard or your ends and my ends so I can graft other girls outside of your sight. Right. Because yeah, it's yeah, what's yeah, happening. Yeah. What's yeah. happening on there is real life. Is what's happening. It's real life. Men are not going to throw their eggs into one basket no, they're not. after they're three not. or four or five days. But no. the thing is, is that you don't see me. Of course. When I tell you, listen, man, the connection we have, you will believe me because you I don't mean, know about Sarah's existence. I know. And that's why, ladies, it's not a whether he's, whether or not he's he is. dating loads he of others. He is. You just need to be his favorite. Concentrate <laughs> on being his favorite, okay? Because guys are going to have at least four or five things that they're dating just always be at the top of the list one yeah. or two yeah. okay and if you're at number two there's you can always flip back to if number a man one if a man don't have four or five links it's probably because he can't 110 percent. so the, the man that i tell you they ain't got bare link or a couple links they're lying to you just be the favorite don't don't doesn't mean you've got to let him walk all over you to be the favorite but however you be the favorite be the favorite but it can't work whoa whoa <laughs> It, it can't work in there when it's all face to face. Yeah, it can. Like, no. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 it you see. You and, have and to I be think, a special type of girl yes. to be in there and not let that affect you. No, there's no type there's of girl. No and girl. there's no type of man. Um, Here's my thing with Love Island. Everybody that's watching needs to have way more grace. The reason why is that you put people on an island where the social currency is relationships. Right. And whether they're successful or not. Mm-hmm. So that's the only thing that matters. You have no phone. You have no TV. You have no distraction. Yeah, you don't even know yeah, what yeah. time of day it is. Right, they yeah, are told yeah, when yeah. to wake up and told when to go to sleep. Right. In that kind of equilibrium where the only entertainment is other human beings, a good, person yeah. becomes far more valuable to you. You go on a date, the date is dead. All you're thinking about the fact is, you know what, I'm going to go home, watch some TV, do right, something. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. have entertainment. Yeah. Without these people. And that's why it's so easy. But that's why we can't fall understand how they fall in love within yeah. a week. But really, if this was the real world, they wouldn't even care. They wouldn't care. The and girls that, would be linking four or five guys. I know this, this is the thing. That's the thing. Girls, we don't do that. We don't link four or five, man. You mean girls general, not you? No, I don't link four or five, man. I'm telling you, let me tell you something. Yeah, when I'm locked in on someone, I find it very difficult to date yeah, other guys. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think the thing is... And it doesn't take me long to get I think the thing in. is, I, I don't think a girl and needs to be linking four or five men. She just needs to have four or five men on her line. But listen, let me tell you something. That's the, and that's why men and women are so different. That's what you see on Love Island. Because mm-hmm. men, as we can see, yeah, men will have make sure they have bare options. Mm-hmm. Women, we don't need to have bare options. Once we like you, we can and we can like you after the third day. Mm-hmm. We have to lock off every single link, yeah. <laughs> Even but men, they will have, they will know that a girl is like perfect for them, but they're still gonna make sure that there's that this is the perfect girl. Because he's not perfect for her. 
No, it's not. It's just, it's nothing to do with that. It's just how men think. You're natural. I don't know about you, but like men no, are No, I did like the moment there where you was telling me how- Like, <laughs> like men, un- they're, you're, you're hunters, you're gatherers. You want to, you, you're going to want to make sure you, you're more logical. So yeah. you're going to always think, you might think, oh, ZZ's really good for me, mm. but there's a few things that mm. maybe mm. ZZ, and I'm going to see if another girl has the qualities mm. that I maybe mm-hmm. don't see in ZZ, or mm-hmm. there might be something better than ZZ. Mm-hmm. Whereas women, we don't do that. We see a guy, and that's why within the first week, we could be planning our wedding. You'll yeah. we'll never meet no, a man but, yeah. that is, he'll meet a girl, and even if he thinks she's perfect, he'll be like, um, there could be something better. We, and that's why Love Island is just a mess, because men, them gal there, they see the, what, after one week, they're like, oh, we're getting married. Lana's now, Tanyelle's upset because my man's checking for other girls mm-hmm. and all these things. But men are always like that. So we're what are you going to do? I'm telling you right now, we're just not ready. You could be the perfect girl. Yeah. It's not it's not the time. So th- there are many men that have met girls throughout their life. Not just one. Several girls where they know she'd be loyal. They'd be great together. Right, right, right. But I'm not in there. We'd be great together. Stay. These men are on a lad's holiday and the girl don't realize. True, true. These men are so dumb. They think they can have a lad's holiday on national television. Yeah, yeah, They think they can tell one girl A and tell the other girl B. Like we can't see them. The closest one in there to having a lad's holiday is Ellie. The, of, out of the girls yeah yeah ellie, ellie ellie is there just to be an absolute menace yeah she's there ellie reminds me of me on a night out i really was hoping that you said yourself <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> ellie reminds why would you say that she what? promised tom a house and a mule on top of the terrace that she is promised me him everything. On a, i will go and fuck with guys heads just for fun on a night out like just <laughs> for bands just to see you see how tom's head was going scrambled like yeah, everything yeah, she yeah. said he was like oh my god i can't believe you said it. i can't yeah. believe it. that as a woman to see a man's eyes go like that like not knowing like you can <laughs> tell like everything you're saying he's just imagining it do you see the satisfaction you get as a woman watching yeah. that it's a brilliant feeling <laughs> but that's ellie basically yeah shout out to all of them and um hopefully we can get some of them on here because I need to I need to berate them in person. Let's get Zara on. Yeah, we need to get Zara on. Zara, if you're if you're gonna watch this, I mean Zara bag fumble. Zara People are people have been atting me so no, hard because I know her in real life. Zara is a, is a bit of you. Yeah, uh, Zara is a bit of I feel like every girl. Like if they, if they let it out. If they let it out. <laughs> and that's and that's why I put and that's why I don't think Zara's going because Zara is every girl is good she's good television and also she's She's also what a lot of women would like to be, how vocal she is. You get what I mean? Like, she's very vocal. She stands up for herself. She's not going to let anyone take her for an idiot. Mm. But I just love the way Zara just switches on people, like, <laughs> with no pre warning and also mid-conversation. Yeah. Like, when she's talking about Tom, she's like, I just don't understand why he's being so like... Like, if you don't like me, just go, bruv. And I was just <laughs> like... I was like, yo. But do you know why I started laughing? Because I was like, that is me. I just be switching on people for no yeah, reason. Yeah, I've watched you. I've watched you saying, yeah, he hasn't texted back. Like, who did they think I am? Like, that is genuinely me. I will be like, no, because I don't understand why. Am I a dickhead? Like, that's, that's what I'm like. There's no way. <laughs> and then, God forbid, if I ever see him post online oh, and yeah. he hasn't responded yeah. to me. Oh my God, you're getting the, you're getting a call. And when you pick up the phone, I'll be like, yo, are you all right? And it's, yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard a few yo's from you. When, yeah. the, when the call starts with yo, you know Zizi's going to that place. Um, what else has gone on? Nothing. Love Island. That's all we care yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So before we go, be sure to check out all the new releases this week across the Plus 4-4 playlist on Amazon Music. As well as the main Plus 4-4 playlist, we also have the R&B playlist, the rap playlist and the Afro playlist. And make sure you follow us on Instagram at Plus 4-4 UK, where you can see snippets of this podcast, exclusive content and stay up to date with all new music releases. You have been listening to the Plus 4-4 podcast from Wondery with me, Sideman. And me, ZZ Mills. Listen to the Plus 4-4 podcast wherever you get your podcasts or listen early and ad-free on Amazon Music. The Plus 4-4 podcast is produced by So Incredible with Wondery, audio engineered by Nathan Cooper, filmed and edited by Marcus Accent, photography by Naomi Koji Payton. The podcast is filmed at Fiction Studios. The executive producer for So Incredible was Harry Anthony. The executive producers for Wondery and Amazon Music were Delisa James, Estelle Doyle, Richard Knight, Jessica Radburn and Marshall Louis. Thanks to Popcorn for joining us this week and thanks to you for listening. Listen to the Plus 44 podcast wherever you get your podcasts or listen early and ad-free on Amazon Music.